10 multinational suspects, 2 underground international gambling rings, 1 criminal prodigy. What's the thread that binds them all to a billion dollar money laundering syndicate exposed in Singapore? Brace yourself as we unravel the twists and turns of this astounding white collar crime that has sent shockwaves across the world. On a quiet evening, the city of Singapore was about to be shaken to its core. It was the 15th of August 2023 and as the sun dipped below the horizon, more than 400 officers quietly prepared to descend upon the city. These weren't just any officers. They were on a mission, a mission that would reveal an astonishing tale of wealth, deception, and intrigue. The targets? Members of a billion-dollar money laundering syndicate. All living in luxury bungalows and apartments nestled in Singapore's most exclusive neighborhoods. The raids commenced, and what they uncovered would leave even the most seasoned investigators stunned. A staggering 23 million Singapore dollars in cash. And a treasure trove of luxury bags and watches. Electronic devices, jewelry and gold bars. But that was not the end of it. The operation unfolded over the course of several weeks, and when the dust finally settled. The numbers were nothing short of jaw-dropping. A colossal 2.4 billion Singapore dollars worth of assets, including vehicles, properties, cryptocurrencies, and rare collectibles, had been seized in its wake. The message was unmistakable. This was Singapore's most audacious and far-reaching money laundering case to date. The operation didn't just stop at confiscating assets. Ten individuals were taken into custody, the names etched into a saga of high-stakes crime. But what's truly fascinating is the connection that binds them. While their nationalities sprawl across borders, ranging from Cambodia to Vanuatu, and from St. Kitts and Nevis to Turkey. The suspects share a common origin in Fujian, China, and at least half of them hail from the Anxi province in Fujian. Fujian's history bears a recurring association with unlawful activities, encompassing a spectrum of illicit ventures. These include networks referred to as snakehead organizations, notorious for their role in smuggling individuals into the United States by sea. Furthermore, in the late 1990s, Fujian emerged as a hotspot for telecommunications scams, solidifying its reputation as a breeding ground for illegal activities. In light of this context, it's hardly surprising that the 10 individuals apprehended by Singaporean authorities find themselves under suspicion. Their arrests stem from alleged involvement in money laundering endeavors linked to their organized criminal activities abroad. These activities encompass a spectrum of illicit pursuits, ranging from scams to online gambling. In fact, in the shadowy underworld of organized crime, they are known as the Fujian Gang, a moniker that resonates among those in the know. Eight others connected to this money laundering syndicate remain at large and are now on the police's wanted list. But just when you thought the plot couldn't thicken any further, it did. On the 25th of September 2023, the news media delivered a bombshell. The mastermind behind an infamous online platform offering illegal online gambling services to Chinese players was one of the individuals who managed to avoid capture during the police crackdown. He is none other than Wang Bin Gang, a native from Anxi who had quietly built an empire, not in a lifetime, but in just a few short years. But how did a man from a small town in Fujian become an international fugitive with millions at his fingertips? In the world of crime, Wang Bin Gang was a prodigy who laid the foundation for his enterprise in 2012, at the tender age of 23. Wang Bin Gang's venture was called Hong Li International, an online gambling platform that would become notorious. It wasn't a slow burn, it was an explosion of wealth. In just two swift years, he turned the wheels of fortune in his favor. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Wang Bin Gang didn't confine his operations to a single location. He operated from the shadows, strategically shifting his base from the Philippines to Cambodia, always staying one step ahead of those seeking to bring him down. Yet, his audacity didn't escape the watchful eyes of authorities as his illegal business invited scrutiny from every corner of the globe, including both Chinese and international agencies who had him under surveillance. But how did it all come to be? Wang Bin Gang, along with two associates, including 25-year-old Chai Lin from Anxi, first entered the world of Philippines offshore gambling operators, known as POGOs. Their mission was daring, to establish an online gambling enterprise in a country where such endeavors were still in their infancy. Their target audience was clear. Avid gamblers scattered across China who were not able to gamble online because it was illegal to do so in their home country. And to their patrons, Hong Li International wasn't just another gambling site. 
it was a dazzling platform offering an array of games, from blackjack to baccarat, and a spectrum of sports and esports betting services. But what set it apart was a clever incentive – gamblers could become promoters, earning commissions by enticing other players into the fold. Their business grew rapidly, but it wasn't without its challenges. Reports of criminal activities, including kidnappings and murders, involving online gambling firms, prompted Philippines authorities to take action against these gambling rings. In 2014, Wang Bin Gang made a strategic decision to move their operations to Bavit, Cambodia. Media reports alleged that Wang Bao Sen, one of the suspects arrested in Singapore's money laundering raid, was also brought into the fold to help out with the illegal business. Wang Baosun currently finds himself with two counts of money laundering charges after his arrest in Singapore. Hong Lee International had evolved into an efficient machine after the relocation to Cambodia, boasting an entire workforce, from graphic designers to customer service representatives and finance managers. Its growth trajectory was nothing short of remarkable, ultimately cementing its status as the largest gambling website in Bavit, nestled on the border with Vietnam. But as they say, with great success comes heightened scrutiny. Beijing's crackdown on corruption reverberated through China, and online gambling activities weren't spared. In July 2014, a patron of Hong Li who went bankrupt, surrendered himself at a police station in Anhui province. This seemingly small incident set off a chain reaction that eventually led to Wang Bin Gang's downfall. Investigations into the case led the Chinese authorities to scrutinize bank accounts associated with the gambling site, meticulously sifting through transaction data and apprehending those involved in promoting the platform. It was during this phase that Chai Lin, on a trip from Cambodia to China, was arrested on 26 November 2014. Initially tight-lipped, he eventually revealed that Wang Bin Gang was the mastermind behind it all. Wang Bin Gang, who has Cambodian citizenship, remained elusive until February 2015 when the authorities finally caught up with him at a hotel in Bavit. The investigations in China spanned seven arduous months, resulting in the freezing of 487 gambling accounts, and the shocking revelation that the illicit proceeds amassed in just half a year amounted to a staggering 984 million yuan. Wang Bin Gang himself had pocketed 2 million yuan from the scheme. On 26 August 2015, Wang Bin Gang received a three-year jail sentence, slated to end on 15 February 2018. As for Wang Baosun, he too faced scrutiny in relation to the case. But information about his court trial and subsequent sentencing remains shrouded in mystery. One might naturally assume that with Wang Bin Gang behind bars, it signaled the demise of Hong Li International. However, in a surprising twist, despite the extensive crackdown on the illegal enterprise, Hong Li International continues to operate to date, persisting as a lingering presence within the illegal gambling industry. But what of Wang Bin Gang himself? What has become of the man who once helmed this forbidden empire? It appeared that Wang Bin Gang had resurfaced after his jail term ended, albeit in a very different setting. In 2022, he became a member of Singapore's prestigious Sentosa Golf Club, a club where foreign nationals must shell out approximately 950,000 Singapore dollars for membership. This suggests that post-incarceration, Wang Bin Gang had relocated to Singapore. However, the duration of his stay in the Lion City remains a mystery. A notice dated 12 September 2023, posted at the club, revealed that Wang Bin Gang, along with five others implicated in the Singapore money laundering operation, had been listed as defaulters. Unsurprisingly, they have not been able to fulfill their financial obligation given their involvement in the case. Wang Bin Gang, now 34, was residing in a lavish good-class bungalow on Rochely Drive in Tanglin which he shared with Wang Liyun, believed to be his wife, at the time of the Singapore police's high-profile arrests. The address is notable not just for its opulence but also for its proximity to Singapore Prime Minister Li Xian Lung's residence on the same street. Wang Bin Gang's domestic helper, who had served the family for a year, maintained that the couple was still in Singapore but not at home when reporters visited for an interview. Yet, conflicting reports suggest that the pair, known for hosting regular parties at their residence, had not been spotted at their residence for quite a while. This raises the possibility that they may have been evading authorities since the police raids in August 2023. While Singapore's business records hold no trace of Wang Bin Gang's name, his wife, Wang Liyun has affiliations with several businesses, including a bridal shop. Were these businesses a front to support their money laundering operations? 
These associations add to the complexity of the puzzle surrounding the couple's activities in the city-state. Wang Bin Gang and Wang Liyun have also been identified among 34 foreign precious stone and metal traders listed by the Ministry of Law. These traders, which include the 10 individuals that have been arrested, are suspected to be connected to one another, and have ties to the billion-dollar money laundering case. The list, dispatched to the Gem Traders Association of Singapore on 27 August 2023, serves to highlight potentially questionable transactions associated with money laundering. The fact that Wang Bin Gang's associate, Wang Baosun, was arrested on Singapore soil suggests that both of them have transferred their ill-gotten wealth to this small island nation. Moreover, a compelling question emerges. Is Wang Bin Gang still overseeing his illegal gambling network, even after completing a prison sentence in China? And is Singapore now his new base of operations? This lingering uncertainty takes on added significance considering that Hong Lee International, despite Wang Bin Gang's prior incarceration, continues to operate. But the story does not end here. As it turns out, there is not one, but two illegal online gambling enterprises embroiled in this billion-dollar money laundering case. Besides Hong Lee International, the police are now delving deeper into the potential connections between some of the 10 individuals arrested in Singapore and the Heng Bo Bao Wang Group. This underground gambling syndicate, with its operational base also rooted in Cambodia, meticulously orchestrated and maintained a network of online casinos. Their modus operandi involved either directly providing these gambling services, or leasing them out to third parties for operation. This syndicate was finally busted in May 2022, when an extensive operation conducted by the Shandong police led to the arrest of 131 individuals and the confiscation of over 1.87 million Singapore dollars in assets. Wang Shui Ming, a 42-year-old Turkish national who was arrested in Singapore's police raid, is believed to have significant ties to the Heng Bo Bao Wang group. Wang Shui Ming currently faces a slew of charges, including one for forgery and four counts of money laundering in Singapore, all of which have cast a spotlight on his involvement in illegal activities. The authorities have revealed that Wang Shui Ming was in communication with a mysterious figure known only as Suspect X. However, Suspect X is no longer within Singapore's jurisdiction, having fled the country, making him a person of interest not only in Singapore but also in China. Adding another layer of complexity to this narrative is the involvement of Wang Shui Ming's brother, Wang Shui Ting. Both brothers hold Cambodian citizenship and are among the fugitives wanted by Chinese authorities in connection with the Heng Bo Bao Wang Gang's criminal activities. In a public notice issued on 15 August, Chinese law enforcement urged these fugitives to voluntarily return to the country before 10 October 2023, hinting at the possibility of leniency for those who heed this call. The revelation that Wang Shui Ting and Wang Shui Ming are among the individuals on China's wanted list has ignited a wave of speculation within the public sphere. The timing of Singapore's dramatic money laundering bust. Closely following China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi's visit to the city-state on 10 August 2023, has triggered conjecture that the Singapore investigation and subsequent arrests may have been influenced by China. Rumors abound that China may have shared crucial information about these suspects with Singapore, prompting coordinated action. In response to these growing suspicions, Singapore's Minister of Home Affairs and Law, K. Shanmugam, felt compelled to issue a clarifying statement. He emphatically asserted that the police operations leading to the arrests were not swayed or influenced by any external parties. While the timing of events may raise eyebrows, he assured the public that Singapore's law enforcement agencies acted independently and decisively in their pursuit of justice. As investigation presses on, one thing remains abundantly clear. The true extent of this transnational money laundering network is far from being fully revealed. Who, among the cast of characters involved, is the real mastermind behind this intricate crime syndicate? Could it be Wang Shui Ming, Wang Bin Gang, or Suspect X who managed to evade capture in Singapore. The possibility of further revelations emerging from the rest of the arrested foreigners cannot be discounted as well. Who were these individuals, and what roles did they play in this complex web of illicit activities? Watch this video to find out more.